Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about the time signature of 3-4. And we'll have uh, five different strum patterns here that I'll demonstrate off of our sheet. Um, so just like the 4-4 four, four video, uh, we're talking about quarter notes per measure. So three quarter notes per measure. So 4-4 four, four had four quarter notes per measure. The quarter note gets the beat. So there are three primary beats uh, per measure. Um, we'll talk about, uh, just like in the 4-4 video, we'll combine quarter notes and eighth notes. Um, so the process is pretty much the same, but people get really used to 4-4. Four, four. Uh, it's just, it's so common that when we drop a beat, when we move from four beats per measure to three, people always kind of pause or wait because it just feels weird because they just, they're thinking or uh, they're not just following their foot and, and counting. So remember this is, this is the most important thing is to follow your foot. And when it's down, that's the down beat. When it's up, that's the end of the beat. So you want to keep it nice and steady and the process is the same where we'll set a tempo and a count and then um, we're going to count out loud and then we'll fall into that with the strum pattern. So this first uh, strum pattern, number nine on your sheet, is just three quarter notes per measure. And you'll just strum on the downbeat. The red line is telling you where the primary beat is and then the arrow's down. So um, just three strums per measure. And you're just counting to three and then starting over. I'll raise this up so you can see my hands here. Um, we'll just play, I don't know. Let's do a D chord this time. So just a regular old open position D chord. Hitting the top four strings on the guitar. Okay, so number nine. Uh, one, two, three. Down, down, down. One, two, three, one, two, three, and if you wanted to subdivide it, same tempo, we'll just count the and, still three primary beats. One and two and three and down and down and down and, so the strum pattern will look like this. One, two, three, down, down, down. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and. So notice I was counting the and but I wasn't playing on the and, I was just playing when my foot was down. Now we will play on the and in video, or I'm um, sorry, uh, strum pattern number 10, again in three, four, your three primary beats. Now we'll play on the and of the beat. So same tempo, one and two and three and one and two and three and down, up, down, up, down, up. One, rest of these actually, uh, like number, uh, the four four videos we did, the next three are combinations of these first two. So here you have a quarter, a quarter, and two eighths. So one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and. So you have to subdivide to be accurate here. If you're just kind of counting the downbeat and then you're going to guess here, you're, you're not gonna make it. So you wanna subdivide the whole time. So here we go. Number 11. One and two and three and down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. Number 
number 12, quarter, two eighths, sorry, four eighths. I meant uh, quarter and then these two beats, but so here's your primary beat, one and two and three and here's with the strum pattern and the subdivisions. One and two and three and one and two and three and so count air guitar and then do it. One and two and three and one and two and three and down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Here we go. This one right here. Number 12 on your sheet. One, two, three, down, down, up, down, up. on your sheet, two eighths, and then a quarter and a quarter. So again in three, four, one, two, three, one and two and three, and down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. Okay, so the important thing to remember, you will have three primary beats per measure. We're in 4-4, four, four. you had four. But the same quarter note gets the beat. It's the same count, but now you're just counting to three instead of four. Um, always follow your foot. Don't get in your head and start talking to yourself. If you're, keeping, if you're keeping an even tempo and you're steady, when your foot's down, that's the down beat. When your foot's in the air, that's the end of the beat. Um, the dotted half note, we talked about the dot in the 12-8 uh, video and again in the 6-8 video. A dot behind any note increases its value by one half. So a, a half note by itself would get two beats. When you put a dot behind it, that half of two is one, so two plus one is three. So if you were to see a dotted half note, alone in a measure of 3-4, it gets the full three beats. If you see a dotted half note in 4-4, four, four, that means the dotted half still gets three beats and there's going to be some sort of a rest or a quarter note or an eighth note and an eighth note rest. You have to account for that last beat. So a dotted half note always gets three beats. All right, that's it. Uh, have fun. See you next time. Take care.